A brand new housing development is under construction, a 12-story condominium. Building a block like this is reliant on 132 tons of ready-mixed cement a day. We've got a team of builders on site waiting for their load to arrive. Can't really stand around indefinitely waiting. And the raw material originally comes from a limestone quarry 150 miles north of London, in Derbyshire. Limestone is blasted from the quarry, crushed into a powder, and mixed with fine rocks and coal ash to form dry, powdered cement. This mega machine blows out an awesome 88 tons of it into each tank. Once each wagon is loaded, rail operative Paul Spooner moves them a mile down the main line onto a siding, from where they will be formed into a 22-wagon train, ready for tonight's journey south. Shifting a locomotive with enough cement to fill 42 dumper trucks on a railroad with a steep incline is no walk in the park. With such a heavy load, the wheels can slip, so the driver must apply a burst of sand to the tracks. This helps gain grip on the slippery slope ahead of them. To do this, shunter Paul Wayne acts as an additional set of eyes and ears for driver Paul Spooner. You've got 10 on your back. It's a normal form, down into bottom end. But sanding the tracks isn't all he must do. Forming a 1,300-foot-long train with 2,000 tons of cement is a complex process. Much like a giant and deadly game of snake, the rail cars switch up and down sidings and swap between different lines to get each wagon in the right place. Keep her coming, Paul. These are my eyes I can't see, so I'm uh, listening to him on radio, to his instructions and working to him. They weigh somewhere around 2,500 tonnes, and the engine's 3,000 horsepower. So we need a lot of horsepower to move a lot of tonnage and to do 60 miles an hour. Very careful, We've got to obey every instruction. And we're on a quite a steep incline here. Keep on going. 